Here we go. All right. So we just talked about salt. Now let's talk about oil. This is your cooking oil now. I'm going to keep this um, because my goal is to keep these videos short. So this is going to be a quick video on just what you really need to do. And you really need to understand that the biggest culprit I think is out there is your oil. And that being said, that just means you're cooking oil in all your foods. Just know that all processed foods have either a vegetable oil, a canola oil, or some kind of altered soy, uh, peanut oil. These things is all refined. Refined means it's been mechanically altered and now it is an inflammatory in your body. So vegetable oil, canola oil, uh, soybean oil, all of these things, including the ones that I'm going to talk to you. You've got to be uh, kind of an, an inspector gadget on this. But when it comes to your oils, I'm going to tell you that avocado oil is your best oil. Coconut oil is going to be your other best choice. And then you can use olive oil, but it has to be more for salad dressings and just eating that way, not heating it up necessarily. So is all avocado oil the same? No because um, they will be refined also, they're just not gonna stay. So I'm gonna show you quickly what you need to be looking for when you're replacing your oil. All right, let me share my screen. The oil is the biggest culprit because it is so inflammatory to your body, okay? And just briefly, I wanna show you this. Um, this is Crisco Pure Canola Oil. Its ingredients is Canola oil. Now understand, canola canola oil comes from a, a vegetable called the rape seed. The rape seed can be highly toxic, and it's very high in ure, urolic, starts with an E, acid. That is a free radical that will just wreak havoc on your body. So you got to get rid of the canola oil. Canola oil at one point was a good, good, better oil for you than vegetable oil. Problem is, they've mechanically altered it, and all of the um, vegetables are pulling it from now is absolutely been genetically modified, mechanically altered. It is now garbage. Okay, uh, another one, vegetable oil. This is uh, Crisco's vegetable oil, and the ingredients on this is just going to be soybean oil. Right there, soybean oil. Soybean oil in its purest form, which it used to be, not anymore, is poison. Women can tolerate it better than men, but men. Soybean oil is extremely estrogenic and it's going to wreak havoc on their hormones like no other. Like it is so estrogenic and then it's crazy. Like they don't need it at all. Okay, let's move into coconut oil. This is what you need to be using when you need to be looking for when you're replacing your, coconut, your oil. And coconut oil, I suggest, is a good alternative to your natural oils. This is going to be good for sauteing. You're going to look for keywords called organic unrefined unrefined is going to mean that you're not going to get that um coconutty flavor like some coconut oil is tasteless you cannot even tell a hint of coconut in it this is going to be one of those this spectrum is one of those i've used it several times it's going to be non-gmo which, which means it's not genetically modified it's also going to be deemed usda organic at least 70 percent of this product is going to be organic it has an expiration date and those are the key things you're going to be looking for in all your oils that you're going to replace and all the ones as you're in the store. Remember, non-GMO, organic, unrefined. That is going, and an expiration date. Those are going to be kind of your key factors as you're, as you're looking. But this is a good one. Uh, Walmart makes one. It is, uh, I don't know if I've got it on here, but it will be, uh, it will say expeller press. That's okay. And it, it'll say organic. That's okay. The whole point is to leverage. We have to leverage out of the vegetable, canola, peanut oil, refined oils. You're even going to find oils that say refined on them. Avocado, they're starting to refine avocado now. Now, when this is my number one pick for oil, avocado oil. So that said, don't go buy the Walmart brand avocado oil. It's been refined. There is nothing, on, and how I know that is on the label, it, doesn't say anything about organic, I mean, unrefined. It says nothing. So that being said, just understand that if it doesn't say it, you have to assume it's been refined. This is the one that I use right now. It's, it's in my kitchen. It's chosen foods. They, they kind of change their label. 
Um, it used to look like this. That used, that's your old label. They've made a transition to this label, which is fine. But here they've got 100% avocado oil. The non-GMO verified logo is down here. It's black and white. And this one, it is expeller press, which is okay. You know, it just means that it's not complete. They don't use such an extreme high heat to extract the oil. There's a little bit, but there's not a ton. Cold pressed is the best if you can find it. But this is definitely a good one. This is my favorite one. Primal Kitchen is my favorite. It's non-GMO. This one, I believe, is, yep, cold pressed on the first press. This is my favorite oil. It's a little bit more expensive, but you can find Chosen now in pretty much any uh, store. I think you can even find it at Walmart. So this is what you're looking for. Remember, organic, non-GMO, that's the oil you want. Unrefined if possible. Expeller pressed, okay. It'll have an expiration date. Um, I was going to show you this. Oh, olive oil. Okay, this is olive oil. Oh, that's avocado oil. I already showed you that one. That's the primal kitchen one I like. It's, but notice on this avocado oil before I show you the olive oil. It's great value, avocado oil. Yeah, great for you. Sure, fine. Ingredients, pure avocado oil. There's nothing on here about GMO. I mean, this is in a plastic bottle that is going to not be BPA free. This is just going to be like, you might as well just buy vegetable oil or canola oil. Do not buy this one. This is not going to be your best replacement for your oil. Okay. Um, where did I find? Here we go. This is a good example of a good, decent olive oil that would be very fine to use. This is going to be for your garnishments. This is going to be kind of like your dipping. I don't recommend doing a lot of sauteing with olive oil because it's got such a low heat temp that the molecular structure can be compromised super easy. So this would be a good replacement. It's extra virgin olive oil. It's, it's California brand. Um, let me show you the label on the back, the label on the back. Let me blow this up. Non-GMO verified, perfect. Um, ingredients, extra virgin olive oil has a harvest date on it. These are the things that you're looking for. I cannot tell if this one has how it's been pressed or extracted. Um, I do know, let's see. First, first cold press, so that's good. This is the kind of olive oil that you're looking for, okay? So this is just a brief, um, brief overview on your oils. If you are using canola, peanut oil, vegetable oil, you have to get it out of your house. I believe avocado oil is your best all around oil because you can bake with it, fry with it, saute with it. You can absolutely replace everything you use with vegetable oil with avocado oil. I like it because it's simple, it's easy, it's good for me, and it literally can be used in any cooking situation. You want a little variety? Go for the coconut oil, go for the extra virgin olive oil. But remember what I said. I'm gonna, I know I'm repeating myself, but it's so important. Look for organic, unrefined, and expiration date, non-GMO, okay? That's it. I hope I hammered this down in less than five minutes. And I will see you on the next video and you're doing great. Just start replacing these things. This is the best passive way to get your body to heal itself inside and out without having to sacrifice your taste or depriving yourself. This is why we do this. This is the absolute best way to build that platform for you. So understand why, this is why I emphasize it so hard. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Let me know if you have questions.